Internet, what's up? This is Rob from TechGuysmartBuy.com, and today we're talking about the Sony Xperia 5 Mark II and why you want to start looking at Sony phones if you haven't already. So let's get to it. So on the hardware side, you have it's a 21 by 9 aspect ratio as far as like device, so it's definitely on the taller side compared to Hershey's candy bar in regards to being a bit on the tall and narrow side, Ren, rather than be on the wider side like most smartphones are today. It's covered in Gorilla Glass 6, which is super slippery, so if you do plan on picking one up, you definitely want to case up. All the buttons are on the right-hand side of the phone, and it's a lot of buttons. You got the smaller volume rocker, the power button with a fingerprint reader embedded, a dedicated Google Assistant button, and a dedicated shutter button. And then on the left-hand side, you have a toolless SIM card tray with a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And then last but not least, you have some really good sound and stereo speakers. Uh, with Dolby Atmos support, which is kind of become standard on all, all smartphone things. As far as the display, you have a 6.1 inch, 120 hertz OLED panel. So scrolling and everything looks super good, looks super smooth, fast. It's 1080p resolution, still great. It's a bright panel and true to life colors. It doesn't have the color pop or saturation that we used to from Samsung, but uh, I think if Apple had a higher resolution display and refresh rate, which we may hopefully see soon, this will give you an idea of what that display looks like. You know, the upside of having a taller body is that the widescreen media content looks amazing. Uh, and then it being taller, you can take advantage of split screen features running, as far as running two apps at once. So despite running last year's Snapdragon 865, it's still powerful, still gets stellar performance, streaming media, multitasking, gaming, the usual. Um, this has eight gigs of RAM inside, 256 gigs of expandable storage, easy winner for daily tasks. There is 5G support, just not in the US for some reason, but for those of you overseas or in Europe, interested in picking one of these up, you can do so, you can enjoy 5G speeds. In the back, you have a 4,000 milliamp battery inside, and with real world use it, and the chipset, it definitely works out really well. But I was getting close to about eight hours of on-screen time, so the optimization here is really, really good. You don't have wireless charging, unfortunately, no, no. but you do have quick charging where you can get up to 50% of juice in 30 minutes, so next best thing. So when you think of smartphone cameras, Sony has been behind the, all the sensors on pretty much every, every smartphone from the iPhone, Samsung, even Google. So their IMX sensor. But of course, hardware is only half the battle. Software and image processing is the other half and it's just as important. So Sony has three shooters, all 12 megapixel sensors, three different angles, three different apertures. So you have f2.2 16 millimeter, uh, f2.4 70 millimeter, and f1.7 24 millimeter. And you can shoot up to 4K and 120 frames per second. The Sony goes for more accuracy in regards to colors while being super sharp, but not too sharp. And this applies to both photos and videos that come out of here. You got Sony's super fast eye tracking autofocus from their alpha line cameras, which is really good. Burst mode up to 10 frames per second. Now Sony's take on low light is vastly different to how Google and uh, Apple does it there. So instead of trying to turn things up and make it look like daylight, it will keep it at night, but it will just make things sharp. And you know, if you got some light, it'll be visible. If you got no light, just be sharp darkness. It's a little more accurate than everyone else, so it depends on you know what you're looking for. So the two things that makes this thing different, you have Photography Pro and Cinematography Pro apps. The photo gives you control of ISO, aperture, shutter speed, as well as auto, shutter priority, and master exposure. While the Video Pro or Cinematography Pro gives you manual controls over focus, exposure, white balance, audio settings, and up to nine different color profiles. Uh, so you can do all this while sh uh, choosing to shoot between any of the three 12 megapixel cameras on the rear. So definitely an interesting aspect that Sony is bringing to the table. So the Xperia 5 Mark II is a great example of what Sony can do and how it can, it can compete against some of your favorite Android smartphones. And I think it does a pretty good job uh, in doing so. Now the pricing is a little higher than I like it to be at 950. It's not overpriced, but I think if it's a little bit lower, it'd be a little more compelling. So that's our two cents. 
Uh, we'll have affiliated links in the description below for those of you interested in picking one up. If you like, share, and subscribe, ring the little notification bell. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you for doing so. And see you in the next video. Peace.